Good afternoon. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today. I'd like to thank the foundation for this opportunity to talk about my country, Brazil. And my speech is how OpenStack will score in the Brazilian cloud. Okay, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Renato. I'm Chief Innovation Officer at Dualtech, a Brazilian company based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And today I'm responsible for OpenStack, DevOps, research and development, and new products development. Uh, here's a brief introduction about Dualtech, uh, who has always been a pioneer, as I, you can see. So we are in the market since 1988. Uh, we became uh, ISP in 1996, at the very beginning of the internet revolution in Brazil. And we became a cloud computing provider, signing our branding as Dualtech Cloud Solutions since 2009. And about OpenStack, about OpenStack, we've been researching about it. Uh, and last year, we started our labs and proof of concepts. And this year, we are launching our, the first product based on OpenStack. I will tell more about it, it's dual stack. OK? And about Brazil. So we are huge, uh, almost a continent. Uh, our economy accounts for 40% of all Latin America. America's economy. So uh, almost half of the, the total population are considered potential technology consumers. Uh, the, forecast, the forecast shows that the IT, the IT, IT sector revenue will double, will, will double in size in, in nine years. So uh, as you probably know, Brazil will host the 2014 World Cup and 2016 Olympic Games, so there is a lot of investment being done. And about OpenStack in Brazil, uh, here's, a, here's a brief about the community. So we, we, we have around 100 active members. It's, it's based on the mailing list, okay? Um, last year we created a, a blog, it's, it's, it's Bob's, to, to tell about the, the uh, our labs, our proof of concepts. And now it's being reviewed with community support. We'll, we'll relaunch it. And it was very cool. This year we had our first community meeting at Fizzly. Uh, Fizzly is one of the most important uh, events in Latin America about free software and open source. Uh, and this year, Dualtech uh, helped us and organized the, the first uh, OpenStack meeting was the first OpenStack event in, in Brazil. So we had uh, 100 re registrants. We got a lot of positive feedback on it. So uh, some, some, some international speakers, the guys from Stack Ops, joined, joined this event. It was very cool. But, and about the cloud computing in Brazil, because we are still green. Uh, Around 90% of the Brazilian companies that are positioning themselves as cloud providers are basically offering virtualization. Uh, the guy in charge of IT inside the companies doesn't know exactly wha what cloud is and wha why they need it. And most apps in use by companies uh, are not ready to take any advantage from the cloud. So I think now it's time to, to evangelize it better, promote hands-on and other ways because we need to materialize cloud in the customer's mind. They need to start seeing it in action. Uh, this is, uh, I'd like to share some results from a survey that Dualtech commissioned. And as you can see here, uh, about the, the knowledge, the, we asked for some executives, from IT executives, about their familiarity with the infrastructure as a service. And 33% say they'd never heard about it. And 40% say they read something about it, some articles about it. So they don't know what is it. And when we are visiting our customers, we, we, our clients, we identify some challenges. And all the time we see that the, the guy in charge have fear to lose control and power. And they want to know where their servers are. The, the, the elastic billing models sometimes, uh, 
the, the, the guy are afraid to exceed the budget. They have problems with the, the CFO. Uh, to, and and for, who, for those who need dedicated hardware, they think the only way is building a private cloud and doing a high investment, buying storage and firewalls and suites. And it's not very clear how, they, how can you can scale if you, are, you, if you need dedicated hardware. So, but we believe that OpenStack can beat those challenges and score in Brazil. And our bet is dual stack. We, we are la launching it right now, this month, the first OpenStack powered service in Brazil. Okay. And what is dual stack? So, dual stack use uh, Stack Ops Enterprise. We are the local partner from Stack Ops. For now, we are offering dedicated hardware but just for the compute node. So the, the, control, the controller, the, the glance is, is running over virtual machines and we are sharing equipments like firewall suites and storage, okay? Uh, it's fixed billing, so based on how many compute nodes and how many storage capacity the customer needs in, in his cloud, and, but he can scale it. He can increase or decrease the total workload capacity and our target is medium-sized companies. Okay, uh, coming back to the, the challenges, uh, we, are, we, are, oh, we are overcoming it in our sales speech when we say that we show that with the dashboard admin credential, the guy was still in control. Uh, customers can be taken to the data center to see their servers, okay? This is your compute nodes, your servers are here. And believe me, in Brazil, it's really, really very common. Uh, all, 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 the week, all weeks, we, we take the, some customers to, to see the data centers. And, and about the dedicated hardware, with dual stack, they can, they can start with a, a small investment because, as I told you, we are sharing some expensive resource. And they can scale, increasing and decreasing the, the capacity. Okay, and about the future, uh, so what we are doing now, uh, we are launching it right now, so we are using dual stack, of course, we are scheduling some presentation, demos, proof of concepts, webinars, and of course for, sa for sales purpose, and, and I think it will be very good for evangelization purpose to show the cloud in action for the customers. Uh, with the community, we, are, we start to discuss about promote some regular meetups and more, more community meetings. And about the OpenStack meeting, that, that event that I told you, uh, we are deciding, but it will be annually or twice a year, a regular event. And we, we, we want to share our knowledge. So we, we start to promote trainings and workshops. And we need to still place in OpenStack in the local media because we really become that it will be a reference technology in, in cloud compute. So, uh, thank you very much. I'd like to, to thank again for this opportunity. Uh, if, if, you, if you need to contact me, be free to contact me. I will be here until the end of the, the, the conference. I'm not sure, I think we don't have time for questions. We have some time for questions, I think, no. I didn't. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Okay, sure, I'm sorry, uh, we can talk later. Muito obrigado. All right, thanks, Britano. Uh, hi, everyone, I'm very thrilled to be here because it's my first time, and it's not because I speak, but it's just because, you know, this brings me back to like 10 years ago when I was a developer and participated in this kind of work. So um, actually, I uh, didn't know that I'm going to speak like this. I just wanted to have a question. And then I find the best way to have a question is maybe present the context of the questions. So uh, what we, the, the question I have is about OpenStack in Vietnam. What are we going to do with OpenStack in Vietnam? And uh, a little bit of intro. DTT, we are a company focusing on e-government solution. So I'm very glad that this morning Chris talked about app-centric you know, um, ecosystem. And we, we are application 
company. We develop e-government solution. And we, we develop it on open source. Um, we're working in a few things that are relevant to this. Is, uh, we also helping people moving the application to cloud, including uh, governments and banks. We're also helping with uh, some open source initiative of the government. MIC means Ministry of Information and Communication, the guys in charge of IT in Vietnam. We're helping a, 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 a city called Da Nang City, one of the major cities in Vietnam, to build their e-government platform on open source. And uh, we're working with VFOSA, which is the open source association in Vietnam, to build the community open source. But that's pretty new, though, I mean, all this. And why I'm here, I'd like to learn about open stack ecosystem and seek for partners and community hubs to, to help us do something. Because this is Vietnam, you know, we, we're talking about school, we're talking about healthcare, government, and traffic. You, you look at here, we have 80, 80 million people. We're not that huge like Brazil, but we very crowded, small, small country. And 50% of us are very young, less than 30 years old. We are the fastest growing mobile user in the world. And with this you know, current infrastructure, we're already looking at e-school, e-health, e-government, smart city. So that the question is how we're gonna handle all this. You know? um, and when we come to this guy kind of conference talking about change the world, and this is where you can change you know, a little bit of the world, is that um, we actually, how we transform all this current infrastructure into that e-future. And where, where does uh, the computing power come from? You know, you look at, uh, but actually the, the, the good news is the IT industry in Vietnam is growing. We have a revenue of about 15 billion a year, which is about 12% uh, of the GDP. We are ranked at our 50 most attractive country for our sourcing. So we do know how to write some software. Uh, we have established e-government programs. At least the government pushed very hard on you know, e-gov e-government, e-health, smart city, and so on. But the bad news is everyone is doing it in the silos way, and, and you know, the, we just don't have enough budget to put in the silos uh, infrastructure to do all this. So, so that poses a big question is, um, you know, and, and that could be something relevant to the open stack infrastructure. Um, and a little bit of an open source in Vietnam, you know, basically the government very pro open source, but the community is weak. That's the problem. And the, the missing link is, although, you know, um, maybe we, we just don't know how to build the community because uh, if, let's say, if the force get adopted better in Vietnam, how can the community benefit from that? We, we don't have that uh, answer. So we, that's one of the questions that I'm, I'm seeking for help here. Uh, about cloud, actually, surprisingly in Vietnam, the, we have a big jump in cloud in 2012 where you know, governments and banks move on clouds already. Uh, but most of the time, they, they are looking at the cloud as an infrastructure, not as a, you know, a, a, a software as a service that kind of thing yet. Uh, you, all the large vendors are pushing for cloud in Vietnam. Uh, we are offering the, the strategic consulting. We do enterprise architecture, you know, IT, IT master planning, and we also uh, help them with the open source technology for the solution. Uh, and, and that is why we're thinking about you know, getting the, the strategic alliance here to, to, to do open stack in Vietnam, to say this opportunity. Uh, so I'll give you a case study. You know, the, uh, we developed the first multi-tenant centralized uh, uh, provincial government platform for Vietnam, deployed in Da Nang City for 97 agents. You know, that's an effort to centralize all this um, uh, silos application. And we, we offering 12 applications to start with, but uh, there will be 100 of them. So we, we got this project together with the Hyundai IT from Korea for about 5 million. We deliver the whole thing on Java-based open source system. Uh, you know, you, you can see all the name there. So we have about 100 uh, people. So the team working on this project, you know, is uh, 20 plus people. Uh, and, and, and because we we familiar with open source, uh, uh, system for a while, so we be able to release the first application very quickly, only two months after development. Uh, and the problem, uh, the good problem is now after we do this, many of the leading government agencies and CT ask us to look at uh, infrastructure using open source technology. And open stack is a natural choice, 
So as a prime contractor, we are asked to go uh, to evaluate and pilot the OpenStack deployment in, in some of the cities. All right, so that's, that's why I'm here. And uh, the next step is just to uh, you know, uh, represent the, on behalf of the Vietnamese uh, Association of Open Source and a project that the, um, the, the government and MIC wanted to uh, promote open source as well as the, the city who want to put this open stack together. I'm, I'm, I'm here to ask for help. Uh, any partner, any vendors, any community that can help us deliver the successful case for Vietnam and help us to build the community in Vietnam. We, 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 really, we, we have nothing in, in open stack community yet. But after this, I'm here for two days, and I think we will straight away do the, the, the first thing that we can do, translating the documentation to Vietnamese. And we will look at, select how we're going to participate in some of the development, because we do have a lot of development resources. And if you do this with us, and it's successful in Vietnam, the, 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 the good thing is, I think you can use that model for Southeast Asia, you know, Indonesia, Malaysia, and so on. So uh, that's it. Please uh, drop me a line, and probably you can come and we have a beer, you know, when we have this in Vietnam. Thank you. Any question? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Namaste. Or as they say in Tamil, my language, Wanakam. And I can spend my entire 10 minutes saying uh, hi in all the languages that speak, we speak in India. But um, let's get started. So uh, I'm Sriram Subramanian. You can reach me at sriram at sriramhere.com. I'm an individual cloud specialist. I also uh, contribute as a technical editor to cloudstory.in. Cloudstory.in is a, a popular online media based off in India, focusing primarily on uh, cloud. And I uh, primarily cover OpenStack related developments and uh, in-depth technical discussions at Cloud Story. So uh, <clears throat> I want to give you an overview of like uh, what do we do, uh, what is the status of OpenStack project community in India, and uh, starting from that, uh, what are the opportunities that OpenStack provides to Indian uh, economy, and uh, some of the challenges that we might face or we, we will face. So uh, as of now, I think since SX. The community has been very active in India. We have uh, the meetup groups, Facebook groups. We have the last count of uh, meetup is about 325 um, Instackers. Instacker is the, the, the term that um, the Indian community has defined, OpenStack user in India. And uh, thanks to Tristan and Aptira's support, uh, the meetup has been uh, meeting very regularly, um, very actively. And uh, there has been a lot of um, demos, introductory talks, and in-depth technical discussions, and a lot of active users and enthusiastic users. In fact, in today's uh, keynote, um, Atul got mentioned and as an uh, active contributor. And uh, since SX, we have also had code contributions, either from CSS or from Persistent or as part of outsourcing. Like, we have been having code contributions from India. So that's great. And uh, we also have an official Twitter handle OpenStack India, thanks to the foundation. Um, that's the official uh, Twitter handle. If you want to um, participate, engage, discuss, or give feedback to OpenStack users in India, please follow and uh, uh, engage with OpenStack India. Again, thanks to Tristan. So this is all good. And, um, and what is more, <coughs> more interesting is, um, as part of this talk, I also sent out an informal usage statistics. Of course, this is just a survey monkey thing. This is no way. Uh, will represent the entire uh, usage statistics. But something that came out is uh, we see a lot of deployments on SX and Folsom. As you can see, like uh, people are experimenting with Folsom right away instead of um, older releases. That's good. And it also kind of tells me um, most of them are still in experimentation phase. Like we haven't gone to a real production system. As you can see, the uh, next type out of the survey participants, most of them still experiment. They want to explore what OpenStack is and get acquainted with it, play with it, stuff like that. And probably 20% are using it for production. 
I'm not, I don't have the details about who exactly that 20% is, but I have some data about like we have real data centers using OpenStack and offering services production based on OpenStack. We will see that later. Um, enterprise, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, encouraging. And what is more encouraging is like we have at least like 7% of user uh, size more than 10 nodes. That's a uh, size number of nodes. That's one of the um, how big is your deployment question there. So that's good. Um, but please take it with a pinch of salt. It's a very informal statistics. We don't have the entire uh, usage scenario captured here, but this is fairly representative of what my take is and my understanding is. Uh, the user community in India is still at experimentation phase. There have been a lot of activity here. They've been playing with it, um, actively getting developed and uh, participating in code. But in terms to, when it translates to business, I'm not seeing or I haven't seen like a lot of real life uh, cases yet, but we are getting there. Uh, and I apologize if I missed something. If you know of any deployments, uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to correct. Great. Thank you. Um, the, the opportunities that I see are in primarily four uh, phases, uh, four uh, categories. Data centers, obviously. We have NetMagic offering Simply Drive already based off on Swift. And uh, I should probably update with App, uh, AppDira services too. Um, and then um, the other opportunity OpenStack provides is like it can enable a lot of system integrators and value uh, VARs, like cloud enablers or persistent who are uh, strong in OpenStack expertise and who can provide those services. Um, everybody loves to talk about Gartner. Uh, how would you take that one? Uh, one of the Gartner reports says like it's about two billion um, IT infrastructure revenue that India market Indian IT market, uh, sorry, Indian IT infrastructure market will hit by 2012, and that opens up a huge space for data data centers in India, tier two, tier three data centers. Um, I'm not sure like how many are getting onboarded, but I'm pretty sure that they are they are eyeing at OpenStack and experimenting with their deployments. So I expect to have a lot more happening in that space. And um, other thing is around ecosystem. Um, if you look at the the Linux evolution in India. Uh, it, it, got, it got the open source community in India pretty excited and was very active. And uh, I see the same thing happening around OpenStack. Like, we could add a lot, lot more value. We could, uh, I could see a lot of startups or ideas getting converted into startups, offering value-added uh, products on top of OpenStack. Uh, we have Silometer here, for instance, like that could be a product by itself, right? So uh, the, there's, a, there's a lot of opportunities there. And uh, the other thing that I'm seeing is um, the service providers, like the big players like Infosys or Vipro, I, I, I get an informal feedback that they're also experimenting OpenStack, but I see them getting into the space, providing um, OpenStack-based consultancy, for instance, or even some kind of private cloud solution on top of uh, uh, OpenStack. But it hasn't been there yet. I'm anticipating some um, um, developments over there. And of course, academia is always interested in picking up open source. Um, per my uh, research, I haven't seen a lot of cloud-related, uh, OpenStack-specific projects or theses being submitted, but um, it, it'll be like picked up pretty soon. Um, and, and the other thing that I see happening is like Indian government is pushing, uh, is opened up, or uh, m having a major push towards cloud computing. What it would translate that into would be like, there's a lot of players getting in there and they're going to be uh, taking up the opportunity get participate in that one. But since the, the big, big players are already either Microsoft customers or Amazon customers, they may or may not recommend OpenStack-based uh, products or solutions, but m m I'm seeing that, that it's a bigger pie, so eventually there'll be a slice for OpenStack, and it also opens up like opportunity for someone who can propose on basis of OpenStack, and it could be like a, a, a competitive pricing um, against the big players. So, I talked about four, four possible opportunities there, but we also see like uh, um, challenges. Of course, this, this mindset is not, not just common to India, like we, it, it's pretty prevalent. Uh, India is no different. Uh, but mo what is more worrying, or not, not really a worrying thing, but the, the the big players traditionally have been like service-minded, so uh, they they, they have been seeing a lot of money coming 
on consultancy or on outsourcing or those kind of uh, business models. But I would love to see more of innovation or on OpenStack or on top of OpenStack and uh, taking it forward. I haven't seen indications on big, from the bigger players towards that. But if you, if you are already aware of that, uh, please help me correct my uh, take on that. And um, the other concern is, so uh, when the government opens up big projects like this, for instance, like uh, the chairman of one of the big, bigger service providers is going to set the cloud computing policy of India. So uh, to begin with, whatever might be easier is like already known or proven route like uh, Amazon or Microsoft that might be helpful for their existing business. But it will be difficult for them to take the new route of OpenStack-based solutions. So that's one, one mindset, a difficult route to take, but it is not uh, impossible. So from as a community, like if we, if we give right messaging, that could probably help. And um, the, the fourth point is about like from my informal study, uh, uh, usage I had, like what is preventing you from getting started on OpenStack? So uh, some of the respondents said like, I'm not clear on ROI. And, and more than that, like some of them responded like, I don't know where to start. So both of them can be like corrected pretty easily uh, by having a right documentation, a right messaging around OpenStack. So um, this, this is something that I, um, I see as challenges for uh, OpenStack or OpenStack adoption in India. So um, again, OpenStack India is very active, and uh, if you want to engage or if you want to follow, if you want to give feedback, please feel free to engage with the Twitter handle. And um, if you want to participate, uh, please join the Meetup group or Facebook group and uh, give your feedback. Um, that's it. Thank you. Glad to hear and uh, to talk about a uh, topic about uh, uh, the OpenStack within China, but uh, I didn't get the answer. That's why I'm here. So I will um, to discuss with you all about these uh, questions. Now, uh, this slide is prepared for our community member uh, community mem members uh, from China OpenStack Your Group. So I'm just uh, stand for there. So this agenda, I will talk about uh, who am I and uh, OpenStack in China and why TriStack is so thin. That's our project, uh, just like OpenStack in China, and our plan and the roadmap. So uh, who am I? I'm not a technology uh, expert. I'm just a community manager. And for now, I am worked for uh, Nanan Cloud uh, and also uh, the foundation for <coughs> member, individual member. And, and the co-founder and the leader of uh, China OpenStack Your Group. Now, uh, that's my Twitter account, so you can contact me if you're interested in, in uh, Chinese uh, marketing. Now, the OpenStack in China, uh, last year we have uh, organized an event that named the uh, Shanghai OpenStack Summit. There is about 400 members this year, it's August, there is 2,000 attendees in our conf uh, APAC conference, both Beijing and Shanghai. So there's a lot of members in China. And uh, last year, uh, Jim Carrey and uh, Chris, they have come to uh, Shanghai to share some uh, opinions about the open stack. Uh, so uh, this year, uh, cool. And uh, some others join. Uh, they have come to Shanghai, and uh, uh, some guys from uh, Asian com communities have come to Beijing. Yeah, and uh, this afternoon we have a meeting to talk about the you know, next time a pack conference. Maybe there will be uh, once a year, and uh, uh, hosted by 
and other cities. Sorry. Now, uh, there is, so now there are a lot of companies in China have joined in the community. Uh, we can see them in the website. Um, and these are big players like Xinjiang. They have been the top 20 contributors to the community. Uh, and uh, for me, I'm a Nanan Cloud, I just a startup companies that um, open source uh, technology support and solutions in China. And we can see more in Costa, there's a lot of companies that are in China. Not Huawei, IBM, and something else, VMware, Sequoia, uh, and Intel. So that means in China, there's a lot of members that are interested in the OpenStack. They try to use it or uh, want to, uh, to make products. But uh, there is some uh, problem that we have met in the uh, APEC conference that uh, uh, because uh, the conference is different from this summit, this summit is for the developers, and the uh, APEC conference is used for the users. They want to use OpenStack, or try OpenStack, but uh, they, did, they are not familiar with OpenStack just like uh, developers. That I, I have met some uh, gaming companies, they want to use OpenStack for their gaming, but they and it's difficult to deploy it. And so we want to do something like OpenStack, TriStack, .org, and this is a good project that is used for the uh, users to try OpenStack. But uh, we have seen that uh, in the latest uh, mail list uh, last, uh, last month, there are some information that uh, it for now, it was hosted by the foundation, but they needed more help. And we, what we want to do, maybe something more, you know, uh, try stack the RG, uh, for the users, they can just uh, to start uh, to start a virtual machine uh, for 24 hours. But, uh, you know, for the companies, they, maybe they, they want to try uh, for their business. Uh, so. Here we got the TriStack dossier. Now, uh, we can see that it was built by the stack and for the stackers. And it was, was a, a non-profit project. And the uh, deployed with full features. We have deployed the app um, with Quantum and the open source switch. Uh, but also, it's, uh, there is no SLA. Yeah. And, uh, you see that we can have some showcase and a blog that will document in Chinese and the wikis. Now we, we will document our uh, community in, in wikis and we also have a mail list that you can uh, take this website. There are more uh, information. And uh, that's, for now, that's uh, our reference. It, this is uh, sponsored by Nana Cloud and the inter Internet. Uh, in, Intel, and uh, there is more sponsors, just like IBM, they have sponsored for uh, more, uh, about 100 service, servers, uh, physical servers. Uh, so we have uh, several data centers in China. Uh, we can give this results for the Chinese members and maybe for the broad. And for now, we, we just are uh, here. We just uh, set up the TriStack.cn web. <laughs> and uh, uh, we will release our website after this, com uh, after this summit. Yeah. And uh, next, maybe we will uh, do some uh, financial testing. You know, uh, the app is just released uh, a few months ago. And, uh, Next, we will release text farm, uh, maybe different text cultures, uh, because uh, we have some hardware sponsor. 
just uh, like uh, uh, local hardware, Zhuguang, uh, Lianxiang, and Huawei, and uh, Sikke, and uh, something else. Now, that's just uh, uh, what we have talking about in, in the community. We have give some ideas just like uh, to uh, build demo, uh, last for SMB, uh, last uh, in India, they have said that SMB is uh, uh, OpenStack is good for SMB, and and uh, also there are some universities they want to use OpenStack uh, for their uh, training for something else, and uh, also gaming uh, gaming house hosting. So that's our plan and the roadmap. We just uh, be here, so I have come to here to um, commit with uh, the communities uh, to see uh, some help. Yeah, just like marketing results and hardware, techno technology support, maybe proposal. And I have, uh, yeah, this this project. We we think uh, if you have proposal, that's the testing or something else, I can give you the results. Yeah, not just uh, to start a virtual machine. Yeah, and uh, the last, uh, many thanks to uh, Mark Collier, Jim Carrey and stuff, uh, and uh, something else from the foundation and the community. So I want the user can to try, try, try about the open stack. Okay, that's my, that's it. So I have taken some t shirt uh, in the Asian conference, uh, and I have tried the t shirt. Yeah. So if you have some good suggestions, I will give you the t shirt. Yeah. Do you have any quick questions? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on, on now. And I have contributed, uh, contributed to uh, and uh, yesterday um, we will merge the two project into uh, into one project. Uh, we will have the same login. Yeah, yeah. Are you free? Yeah, free. Because you know I'm a community manager, so I have, have a community, just like those guys from different companies. Yeah, I just work for a community manager. Yeah, you know this guy is from Intel, and uh, this guy's from another startup companies, and this is from blah blah blah. Yeah, so we have a lot of companies to sponsor us, <coughs> but we, we want the most sponsor. Okay. Uh, all the open shares that we are now conducting that are big on the global scale, how much of this is um, like business companies that you create and then you use this fund to just like um, write them out for the small stage? Yeah, business stage. Small stages. Okay. All right, maybe I'll, I'll answer from the Vietnamese perspective. Right? The, in, in Vietnam, the government will be the first uh, user. But um, you know, the, it's a very, very much a government-centric country, so the, a lot of the state-owned uh, enterprises are there. So what we think is, after the government got the trial successfully, there's a few enterprises um, that are government-related, probably will try it. Uh, and so that at that stage at the moment. I think it's, it's similar in Brazil. The first was the government, but the the government is is not in production. Make some proof of concept, some documentations. And now I know that there are some guys from Global. That it's a huge media company. The guys are here. Uh, they are trying OpenStack. They are evaluating it. But uh, a, a running production, I don't know about any. Inter I, I, I don't know any enterprise are doing it. I think uh, now we are launching it, but we have two customers too. Medium-sized customers in proof of concepts. <laughs> no 
no one in production in this one. So, your first. Yeah. So I don't have a direct answer. Probably like, do you know uh, Aptira India? Where, no, where the enterprise. Right now, so I think the question was about like an interest on ent from the enterprise customers. Right. What is what kind of interest level are we looking at? So. Sorry. Okay. So that, that's an answer question. Thank you. Uh, the Xilang uh, we uh, run a pass uh, a park, uh, public pass the SAE just like the GAE they uh, ride by the op uh, ride on on the open stack. Uh, sorry, yeah, 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 this Xilang guys. So the, the, the question about enterprise is not like very different. Uh, analysts could answer something, they can question, but as, as he has inserted, like there's been definitely interest and uh, the enterprise service companies, I know that like they have their own open stack team. They may not have announced the products yet, but it's kind of in a me too thing. They don't, nobody wants to get missed out. Everybody knows it's like open stack is going to be the in thing soon. So they're all getting ready. So um, some of them have missed out. For instance, Tata Insta Compute went on CloudStack instead of OpenStack. They had their own reason to go there, but it's there. It's out there, and it'll come out soon in, in, a, in a big time. It's simple. We didn't have anything. Or, or <laughs> it's okay, but you probably are. You, you, you need to answer. Yeah. I think in, in Brazil, the, the, the I, I show I show the the challenges. I think we, we don't have a specific problems of localization, right. language, no, nothing about it. But the, the 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 guy in charge of IT inside the companies need to know what is cloud computing, what is OpenStack. So I think it's more a evangel evangelization. Challenger than uh, something that we need to to build specific for the country. Okay, did you did you understand? Oh yes, no, it's true. If we're talking about the community and support, yes, we, we need to development. The, because the, but Brazil, 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 we need to to produce more documentation in Portuguese for sure. Sorry, that actually brings an interesting point. As I said, like we speak so many languages in India, pretty much every state has got its own language. So uh, it might get into a state where the government might enforce different language specifications. But if you take the analogy of Linux, right? Like there has been a lot of uh, localization efforts around Linux, and even the big time players followed that. But in effect, it it all boils down to like how IT savvy, how English savvy the IT crowd is, and uh, that has to be that there hasn't been a blocker for uh, adoption primarily in India. And I don't see that being a blocker uh, in India too uh, for OpenStack. But uh, some enthusiasts might come up and get translated, so that's always there. So uh, probably like, okay. I think maybe, okay, sure. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm from South Africa, so I should probably be talking to you guys as well. But uh, we've actually got uh, very similar problems, uh, and I think I, well, I've always said for like the last 
well, for, we actually built a, a KVM-based solution three years ago as well, um, and it was completely sort of separate before this. And our experience has been that we've actually got a, it's not really the technology that's a problem anymore, it's more of a, a problem around, like, uh, my sort of thing has been all our IT managers and people making decisions are about sort of three years behind uh, the US or the UK. And our biggest problem has actually been trying to educate people and like show people how to actually take something like OpenStack with APIs and actually deploy it. And, and they just really struggle to get it. And I think that's one of, that's actually the biggest challenge we face more than any, any of the other ones. The technology is like, it's there, you can deploy things. Um, so my biggest question is like really, how are you seeing other people using something like Amazon Web Services or Rackspace Cloud or one of the other providers? Because that's, that's kind of an indicator to see what the appetite is in the country. But don't really answer it, it's more of a statement. 